Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, taking a look at a long trade here uh, on the NASDAQ. Now the way that this is setting up is very, very whippy, um, but we're getting this just massive rejection of the lows here on the NASDAQ, so I'm really, really liking how this is looking here. Uh, let me get my order in place. You're going to move quick. This thing's going uh, <laughs> going nuts. Uh, first target's going to be at 4507. Let's do 4507 and three quarter. It's right in the edge, 4507.98. It might as well be 4508, but we'll front run it by a tick. Not a big deal. 4507 and three quarter. The next target's going to be all the way up here, 4516 flat. We'll go to 15 and three quarter uh, and just get that front run in there as well. So the way that this is looking and the reason why I'm so pumped about this long trade is we've been rising all morning. I mean, that's not difficult to see at all. You can see that we've been kind of going up all morning. We had a quick little breakdown and we shot right back up through the high. So the bulls really demonstrated their strength there. Now, the open just hit at 930. The open just hit at 930. And because of that, uh, we had... A, a very volatile move, right? You can see this candle right here is, is pretty whippy. Uh, now, with that volatile move, it moved all the way down to these previous swings down here. So if you draw this up right here, it tapped underneath that low by one tick and immediately shot right back up again. And it closed all the way up here. I mean, that's a huge rejection from the sellers. So I'm a really big fan of that kind of rejection. So I, I'm i looking for a long trade here. We're long two contracts because of the size of the stop. Uh, but I'm basing the entire trade off of this candle right there. That massive rejection candle is what's got my interest. So I'm going to be using this candle for my targets as well as my stop. So we're long at 44.98 and a quarter. Uh, we're looking for 45.07 and three quarter for the first target. Second target after that's going to be 45 15 and three quarter and basically that's going to give us one off up here at 45 07 three quarter that's going to be nine and a half points nice little move there and then if it does really want to go nuts 45 15 75 is going to be 17 and a half points uh now keep in mind the nasdaq does tick in five dollar increments but this is still a pretty big move uh 17 and a half points and nine and a half points that's 27 points total uh that's 108 ticks so even though you know it's only five dollars a tick we're still looking at $540. Uh, so by no means is it going to be a small trade. Uh, it could obviously be on crude oil and be, you know, bigger in terms of tick per uh, cost per tick. But regardless, 540 bucks, I'm not going to be upset about that at all. So we're just kind of waiting out this initial movement here from the open. You can see it's very whippy right here. And this is, uh, you know, an aggressive entry, I would say, you know, entering down here on the close of a red candle. Mm, it, it's a little bit kind of touch and go. You might want to try to limit back a little little ways if you if you like you know fibs or whatever you could look for a halfway back or something and you could try getting on that but for me this big rejection really spells it all so i like that entry at 44.98 and a quarter and if it wants to play around and give me a little bit of heat that's perfectly fine we got plenty of time for this one to work out and the stop is big enough to give it room to breathe so even if it does want to migrate back just looking at the price action, you can easily see the overall bias is going to be up. Uh, so not really too scared at all about seeing this bigger wick on the highs because we've already seen a one tick massive rejection from the low side. Uh, so I think they're just trying to scare people out more than anything else. So our entry, we're in, we're waiting, and we'll be back in a little bit. See if we can get that target up at 45.07 and three quarter. All right, we're seeing these buyers whack the tape right now. They are coming in heavy, heavy up here. Uh, lots and lots of buying pressure. So we're still long from the same price. And you can tell they kind of flirted around with that area a little bit. Anyone who got scared out moved to break even. We see this all the time. Guess what happened? You get stopped out of break even, and then it shoots up, you know, 40 points. So that's, that's why you can't let this kind of stuff kind of get on your nerves, if you will. You really have to give it room to work, which is why this one requires a little bit of a bigger stop. And you'll notice we're already edging up on our target. We came one tick away. Let's see if they can push up and fill us up here. Um, but overall, everything is coming out just beautifully. Now, because we came one tick away from our target, now I now I want to move my stop up a little bit. I'm not going to go directly to break even because we've seen this morning be pretty whippy so far. Uh, so right now, that little low that would have stopped out the break even traders out, that's down at 44.98. I'm going to go a couple ticks underneath that 44.97 and a half. Once we get that target met at 45.07, then we'll go to break even. Um, but that way it prevents any situation 
where you know it goes one tick away from our target, comes all the way back, gives us a massive stop. We don't want to deal with that. I'm more than I'm more than okay taking you know a, a three tick stop. That that doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, but looking for that first target at nine and a half points here, we came close. Just need to see the buyers really kind of hit this thing again. They've been coming in really really strong. Uh, you can see we had that initial burst up, and that's the one that we bought off of after that big wick failure. They pushed up pretty aggressively, but these candles were fairly weak. That's not going to entice a lot of buyers in quite yet. Uh, but what ended up happening was they came back, they stopped all the break-even traders out. Uh, again, we see that all the time. Then you get this beautiful, nice, nice trend candle going right back up again, closing back on the highs, and, and really getting a strong push. And that seems to be the one that they're all entering above. So still pretty whippy, but looking really, really good for the trade. Just need to give it a little bit more time. I thought it was going to hit that target there, but looks like it wants to stall out a little bit. So stop moved up quite a bit closer. 44.97 half is going to be the stop now, uh, just because it came one tick away from our target. Now, I don't want to, you know, move my target down or anything. My target is set where it needs to be set. But, you know, overall, I, I want to still give it the room it needs to move. And we're still looking at 45.07 and three quarter as the definite option for our target. So just kind of waiting for the buyers to step back up to the plate. There was a big amount of conviction that stepped up there. Just need to see him come back. All right, there we go. Got that target filled. 45.07 and three quarter fills. Now we can move our stop to break even. Uh, that way we block out all the potential possibilities of it coming back and actually still taking a loss. You could still leave your stop underneath here, honestly. It's only a three tick stop and that does give it a little bit more room. But with the way that this is acting, if we come back all the way back down here anyway, I don't want to... I, I don't even want to give it the room uh, that would that would entail a really big pullback. So I don't really want to deal with that. I'm OK with pullbacks. That part doesn't bother me. But a pullback's got to look relatively nice, something like that, and then continue back up the way that we are right now. If you get this massive spike back down again, that's reversal. I, I, I'm not going to give it the room for that. So stops going to break even 4498 looking for the continued target up to 45, 15 and three quarter. The way that it's going so far, that might not be that hard to get. We've been seeing a boatload of strength. Uh, it's just a matter of whether or not the buyers can sustain this movement. We're, we're in iffy territory. We're really far away from the EMA. Uh, we're far away from any median that you could draw on here. This whole move from that little trap low at 44.92, we've already gone up 17 and a half points, which interestingly enough is exactly what we're looking for in the top there. But we went 17 and a half points all the way from the lows. That's a big move. So, you know, I mean, if they have the strength on and they're ready to really, pan, you know, hammer this thing, then we should be OK. But stops at break even. We'll give it the time it needs to get going and we'll look at the target at 45, 15 and three quarter if we can get up there. All right, we're seeing an immense amount of pressure coming in. We tested our target, didn't get filled. So I'm going to lock my stop into where our first target was just in case it comes back. There we go. We got that target filled. What a move. Holy cow. The buyers were not playing around on that one. And that that was a huge tip off. The fact that they trapped that previous low by one tick and then moved all the way back up. I mean, that's a massive rejection. And that's exactly what we're seeing right here. So we hit all the way up to 200 percent going for 300 now. Just a, a huge rejection on the Nasdaq. Beautiful trade. So overall, that's 108 ticks on only two contracts. Uh, at $5 a tick, that puts us at $540 on the trade. Beautiful move. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, I'll catch you next time.